Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Brian Stork, and uh, I am here today to uh, talk about the Urology Care Foundation and also to demonstrate the power of uh, Periscope to urologists. Good morning, Chuck. Thank you for joining. Happy November. November is the first day of um, November, and I'm clean shaven and excited today to talk about the Urology Care Foundation. I'm going to try to flip over here. Apologize. There we go. As you can see, I'm clean shaven. Um, I <laughs> finally figured out how to do that trick. I'm broadcasting uh, from West Shore Urology uh, in Muskegon, Michigan. Um, recently, I got invited to a meeting in Maryland about the Urology Care Foundation, which is the foundation of the American Urologic Association. And um, the Urology Care Foundation makes some incredible... Uh, good morning, Jimmy. Thank you for joining. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Singal from Canada. Thank you for joining. Um, the Urology Care Foundation makes some incredible uh, patient education uh, materials. And I think what we want to do is uh, find a way to make them even better. So I'm looking forward to this meeting in Maryland. And um, I recently used Twitter poll, and it turns out that about only 25% of people I polled had really ever heard of the Urology Care <laughs> Foundation. Uh, thank you for your kind comments. Um, actually, I'm going to be taking this Periscope, I'm going to be embedding it into a blog to share with other urologists about how maybe we can use Periscope uh, to interact with patients to answer uh, questions. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, thanks for joining. Um, for anyone who's following, what happens is that Periscope's available for 24 hours and then it can be saved on Catch or YouTube. Um, unfortunately, we have a medical student from Brazil who's checking in. Thank you. That's incredible. Um, Unfortunately, the comments are, are a little hard to find after um, 24 hours, but they're available on catch. You just have to look for them. And I agree, notes on nursing, we can learn together. Uh, and Natrice is joining us from Canada. Um, it, it's truly a global um, platform that we can use. So first, let me just tell you just a little bit about the Urology Care uh, Foundation. Um, what I did is I went ahead and um, prepared some... Um, Tell you what, let me just tap on it again here and I'll show you the screen. Maybe. There we go. So I went ahead and uh, pulled up the, the Urology Care Foundation uh, website. It's www.urologyhealth.org. Um, and I think if you take a look at it, you're going to be really impressed. Um, I went ahead and pulled up these sites. One of the things I love about it is how much effort they've put into patient education materials. Um, physicians can do this. Um, as Dr. Singel can probably attest, I think one of the greatest examples of uh, physicians in urology um, creating their own materials is uh, Nick Brock, MD. Nick's out of Australia. I think um, Rajiv and I are both envious of the um, uh, information that he's put together over the years. Um, Nick's got only uh, not only um, written resources, um, but also uh, video resources as well, so I encourage you to check out his site. Um, back to the Urology Care Foundation. So <clears throat> did a poll um, about how people like to see their uh, medical information. And um, it looked like about a third of people liked video and about a third of people, I'm sorry, about two thirds of people um, still like the written uh, material. I think what urologists are not gonna be able to see when I embed this in my post is just how many people are joining the chat, um, which is incredible and, and I thank you. So just back to the Urology Care Foundation, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move over to another computer here and just show you um, just a, a couple uh, key features here. Uh, someone suggested trying Doc Landscape. Uh, maybe someone can tell me what that is. I think Chuck, who's uh, watching, has mentioned that before. But the Urology Care Foundation website, um, as it stands, um, it has this uh, feature where if you have a uh, symptom that you want to learn more about, like kidney stones, I went ahead and put this in because that's what I'm dealing with all weekend here. You just click on it and then uh, it gives you lots of nice information about what is a kidney stone. Now, Natrice, who's joining with us from Canada, thank you for all the hearts, by the way. For the people that are viewing this on the embed, hearts sort of suggest to me that people are watching and they like the content, which makes me want to keep going. So. When the hearts go away, um, it's a good sign that maybe um, it's time to um, move on to something else. So Natrice from Canada just suggested that I turn this sideways, which was an excellent suggestion. I'd never actually done that before. And uh, I think it's a, a better view, right, for everybody. It seems like we're getting good feedback on the sideways 
uh, view. So anyway, the Urology Care Foundation, this part of the website has an actual A to Z uh, feature to it. So you can, you can pick basically any urological condition you, la you like and you can read about it. Um, one other feature that we currently have that's fantastic is the Find a Urologist uh, feature. So I went ahead and pulled that up. Um, and so, for example, um, I didn't want to be overly uh, promotional, so I just picked, uh, you can see here, I took a zip code, which is our zip code, um, went ahead and put in a 100-mile radius, and then it will pull up uh, the urologists that are available in a 100-mile radius here for you. And so, again, I'm not trying to promote the practice as much as show you how much this works. Um, one of the nice things I like is that um, right this time of year I'm sending people down south or they're choosing to go down south to uh, Sarasota or whatever. Um, hey, Jimmy, yeah, it'd be fantastic, right? So if I wanted to send a patient uh, to a urologist who's going to visit you in Montana, you just look up uh, who the urologists are. It's got their phone numbers on. Uh, it's got the um, distance uh, from where uh, you put in the zip code. Super nice feature. So I'm going to I'm gonna tip... Uh, go ahead and come back to my face here for just a second. All right. So um, what I was really interested in is just getting some feedback from everybody on how we can make this thing better. Um, it, it seems to me that we've moved um, beyond writing, beyond video, to interacting um, with each other on social media. And um, I think that's really cool. Uh, it, obviously, uh, doctors have to uh, become comfortable with that. Um, I know uh, Jimmy and Chuck have been experimenting a lot with uh, uh, Periscope and with uh, Blab, um, and it might be nice to actually do a Blab on the uh, medical education uh, topic. Um, because I think it'd be nice in, in a blog to be able to compare uh, Periscope and Blab for our viewers. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to take any questions. Again, I'm talking about the Urology Care Foundation, uh, their resources. And uh, as I mentioned before, I'm going to a meeting here in a couple weeks, and I would like to have some ideas as to uh, what we can do to make these resources better. Um, I think it's important to be able to uh, share with my colleagues that this type of interaction is being well-received, at least by um, a, a segment of uh, patients on Twitter. Uh, thank you, Rajiv, and uh, happy November. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Rajiv from Canada, He's a um, urologic surgeon at Toronto East uh, General, um, and he's a powerhouse when it comes to raising money for uh, Movember. Movember's a great uh, organization. This year, um, they are promoting um, movement as well as um, uh, awareness for prostate cancer and testicular cancer, um, which is incredibly important because um, I think movement has been overlooked as a treatment for all sorts of uh, maladies, be they urologic or otherwise. So again, I, I think maybe, um, unless there are other questions, I'll probably try to wrap this up. You can um, certainly keep sending me your, your questions or ideas um, as we go along. Um, am I allowed to use? Um, I'm, I'm guessing that that question's with respect to the Urology Care Foundation website. We use it all the time. My nurse uh, just used it the other day to um, refer a patient to a, a patient, I'm sorry, to refer a patient to a urologist in, in Florida. Um, and so the blog will be out next week. Uh, again, thank, thanks for your uh, interest and for helping me um, to, to try to bring some uh, meaningful uh, ideas to the table. There was a question from Notes on Nursing on how do people understand uh, quality. Um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure if that's with respect to the Urology Care Foundation and their, ah, okay, and their uh, materials. Um, the materials uh, that are on the site don't compare providers. You know, that's, that's a really um, interesting concept. Um, and that's that's going to be uh, something to bring the, the table and really to discuss because uh, people are interested in quality. They're interested in comparing doctors. I think they're interested in more than just um, vitals or whatever platform you want to use where you rate your own doctor. And uh, how we're going to do that is a challenge. Um, some of you know I'm involved with the music uh, program here in uh, Michigan, and uh, it's a challenge. We're working through it. Um, notes on nursing says they need outcomes, absolutely right. Um, 
got a nice um, question here. Am I using selfie mode? Yes, I am. I, I've switched over earlier uh, to, to show the Urology Care Foundation site. Um, and just a, another question coming in, what phone am I using? I'm using an iPhone 6 to do this, but let me just switch over um, in just a second. So it says, what's the URL of the website? It's urologyhealth.org. Let me switch over here and just show you again. This is, um, so you can just at, tap the screen twice on Periscope and that'll um, switch you over. We'll go ahead and do as Natrice suggested earlier, do the wide view here, and that will switch you over um, so that the camera points away from you. So there's a learning curve to Periscope, as difficult as I thought. I've had really good manners, Chuck and Jimmy, uh, who are already uh, following here, Natrice. Um, and yes, it is, I, I just got a question about, is it a resource for patients and physicians? Yes. Um, a lot of times if I'm uh, getting ready to counsel a patient on a topic that I haven't talked about in a long time, I may just skim over these resources uh, just to kind of refresh my memory on uh, the options. You know, we're busy. Uh, sometimes we for might forget about a particular option uh, that might be available that might not be available in our community. So um, we use it. I know my nurses uh, love it. Uh, it just really helps them uh, coordinate care when um, patients are moving around the country. So I think I'm going to wrap it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and thanks for the hearts. Uh, again, for those of you who have joined later and aren't familiar with Periscope, those hearts um, are a message to me that they like what's going on. And um, the hearts, um, I think the color changes based on who's uh, uh, tapping the screen. So should you choose to tap the screen, that would create a heart in your color uh, that would signal to me that uh, you like the content or you want me to keep going or um, that type of thing. The the other uh, great thing about Periscope, you know, is, <laughs> thank you, got a bolus of hearts there. The other great thing about Periscope is that, um, you know, I'm talking to an international audience right now. Uh, to my knowledge, there's nobody in Muskegon or the uh, community that uh, I serve that's actually watching this. However, uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and post this to Facebook um, uh, or catch later. <laughs> Take the hearts and wrap yourself up. That's, uh, thank you. Um, go ahead and post this later and then, you know, my own staff can watch this video. So we did a video yesterday on ureteral stents and uh, it occurred to me that I hadn't even talked to my own staff about ureteral stents in a long time and some of them I noticed uh, watched it. So it's a great way to communicate this platform is a great way to communicate. Someone coming in from India here, uh, incredible. Um, great way to communicate with uh, patients, uh, with physicians, with our own uh, staff. So one of the real challenges I'm gonna address in my uh, blog on Tuesday is how do we leverage all of this technology? What, how do we put it all together uh, for patients? Because um, I, I still like to read um, written material. Um, occasionally I'll watch a video. Ah. Uh, Dr. Uh, Singal putting in a plug for um, a resource in Canada, which is great. Um, this periscope isn't specific to the Urology Care Foundation other than um, I certainly want people to know about it. Uh, but if you have other resources that you think uh, really work in urology as well, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, what else? Thank you. It looks like we got about 17 people following right now. I, th I think I'm starting to run out of steam here. But again, if you have ideas for how we can improve patient care, um, using social media, a new platforms, thoughts on Periscope versus uh, Blab, uh, resources like Dr. Uh, Singel just sent across um, that you think are great that aren't the Urology Care Foundation, um, that's awesome. But I, I personally see the future of um, medicine is being able to interact like this, having people ask questions, uh, being, being able to answer them honestly to the best of my ability. Look, I don't, I don't know all of the answers, um, even about urology, but what uh, I, I, I often know what I don't know. Um, thank you. Um, uh, well, lots of nice things coming in. Um, uh, so thank you for all of those uh, comments. Uh, I'd certainly like to be one of those people who leaves medicine better than I found it, and I think um, the, the social media platforms of today are, are helping with that. Um, Jimmy or Chuck, maybe uh, one of you two could organize a um, blab later, and um, then our... I, I